So this problem has a piecewise function, and it says calculate the following limits, enter d and e if the limit does not exist. So first we're trying to find the limit as x approaches 6 from the left-hand side. So from the left-hand side, if we think about a little um, coordinate axis, from the left-hand side of negative 6 is values of x that are less than negative 6. So let's find the piece that is going less than negative 6. That's this one here. So since this is the piece that would be approaching negative 6 from the left-hand side, we can try to just plug in negative 6 directly. And if it gives us a real number, then that would be our limit. So let's plug in. We have the square root of negative 5 plus negative 6 plus 1. So when we simplify this, or sorry, not plus, let me go back minus negative 5 minus negative 6 plus 1. So when we simplify, I was getting ahead of myself, minus a negative is the same thing as plus a positive. So negative 5 plus 6 gives us positive 1, and the square root of 1 is just 1. So this would be 1 plus 1, which is equal to 2. So that would be our limit as x approaches negative 6 from the left. Now let's look and see as x approaches negative 6 from the right hand side. As we approach negative 6 from the right hand side, we're at values of, of x that are greater than negative 6 and we're approaching negative 6. So that would be where x is greater than negative 6. So let's plug in negative 6 for this expression. For that expression we would have 3 times negative 6 plus 20. So simplifying, 3 times negative 6 is negative 18, and negative 18 plus 20 is 2. So that gives us that the limit as x approaches negative 6 from the right-hand side is also 2. So the rule is, is that if the left-hand limit equals the right-hand limit, then the overall limit is that same number. So since both of the, the left-hand limit and the right-hand limit are both equal to 2, that means the overall limit is also equal to 2. So I hope this step-by-step -step solution was helpful for you. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. And um, also please like and share with anybody who you think might find these videos useful. Thanks for watching.